Hello everyone, welcome back to Stone Block 3. Uh, so, last episode we got ourselves a bit of flight. It's always good. Made some of these rings. Uh, I made another watch of flowing time. Or maybe I had one already. I can't remember now. But, yeah, I just wanted to see what this does. Because I have no idea. Um, I know it increases ticks around you, but... Uh oh. Oh yeah, someone mentioned if you hit G. Oh. How cool is that? <laughs> I like that. Where's that coming from? Uh oh. Killing Tom. There we go. Yeah, so plan for today is we are gonna a cat spawn egg. That's pretty cool. We are just gonna try and clear this place out. Although saying that, I think I need to go straight on or down maybe. We're gonna try and find oh there's a melted. Oh, I love it. I think this is, oh, yeah, there we go. This is the room we're looking for. You don't even have to look at them. Oh, that's insane. Even that is pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, that's my self heal. Uh, Pew pew. Oh, he's quick. Ow. Nailed him. Alright, this one over here. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll stop playing around with that now. I need to get... Where's my lanterns gone? Oh, there they are. Let's chuck a few of these down. Um, ow. I'm going to stick them um, just about the place like this. Ow. Uh, glad I've got that heal self. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that one. One way to get out of it. It's one way to do it. You heal yourself as you uh, as you go around. What are these things? Ow. Spore blossom. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to light this place up. This is where we're going to fight the silverfish mother, or whatever it's called. Let me get one of those. There's also some loot in here, so that's pretty good. What is this skeleton made of? Honestly. Ah, oh, about time. I'm actually going to loot this guy. <laughs> Dark matter. Brilliant. Bit of note blocks right there. Right, anyway, what are we doing today? I think uh, lighting this place up is probably priority number one. I don't know how far down this goes, but fingers crossed we can get this area. Um, and then after that, we want to spawn in the mother. And we might need to do it a few times. Hello. Ow. Oh, flipping egg. Lucky we found this um, heal self spell. It's pretty decent, isn't it? Uh, oh, apparently also I should not... Uh, yeah, I need to activate this. So, G. Whoa. What about now? Do we take much damage? I mean, we heal up pretty flipping quick, don't we? Still nothing amazing. Right, anyway. Um, let's just get cracking on attacking this. I should probably look at all the EMC I've used. 
Barely any. That's pretty good to see. And we've been flying about everywhere. Do we just get all the bits and we just go ahead? Ooh, dexterous motion. We used this in our first ever series. Um, and it was quite good because it made you go like... It made a sound every time you did anything, which uh, has been etched into my mind. Right, anyway, let's put a few bits away. So we don't need that. Probably don't need this, but I'm going to keep it on me. Flare lanterns, probably not. Um, yeah, let's grab all the bits we need then. So, ritual starter. Need a few eggs. Got a couple of those, that's all good. Uh, and then, is it shards? Yeah, it's shards. Oh, we only have enough for one with the warm. Ah, but that's a point. Do I have my syringe? I do. I'm going to see if I can syringe the mother. See what that does. You have to punch it with this, by the way. You don't right click, you punch. Uh, but yeah, let's give this a go. I might get murdered. In fact, I probably will, but it is fine. Can I not? Oh, did I use one of the eggs? Mm, why is this not working? Do I have to put them in order? I better do. Okay, let's have a look at this again. Okay, let's try it like this. And we put this one on last. Oh, here we go. I'm going to fly up. Get our ring out. You're actually doing something? You've got like a little animation. I assume you're doing something. Oh! Uh, this is what I'm supposed to do. Let's take these out whilst I'm at it. Okay, let's get this thing out and see if spells do much damage. They do decent damage. We can dump all our spells into it. Now let's archers ring it again. I feel really um bad. I'm just hiding up here. I feel like you know in Spider-Man, the the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, he's like, "What are you doing up there?" In the cage match. It's me right now. Just kill a couple of the couple of these things. It's dead. Oh, that's pretty decent. Okay, let's grab the heart before we do anything. I didn't punch it with the flipping syringe, did I? No. Oh, I wonder what these ones give us. I was looking, I was kind of looking for uh, some of those shards. Oh, where are you going? 
over here somewhere. Anyway, yeah, I was looking for some of those shards because we need way more than just the one mother heart. I do know that there's this this recipe. Oh, it did give us some. Warm silverfish shards. That's pretty decent. And it gave us five of these as well. Interesting. Wonder if we'll find some around here. Ooh. If you punch with it, it shoots like a load of them. That's pretty decent. Uh... Oh wow, there's loads of really cool stuff in here. Okay, I'm going to go around and collect everything, and then I'll meet you back at the base. Right, we are back at base, and I was just charging up my uh, Klein Star. We still don't have enough uh, warm silverfish, but I feel a bit more confident now doing this. Ooh, how much blaze blood? Decent amount of blaze blood. Um, I did get a comment. Where am I? Over here. There we go. I got a comment to say, um, another person who's doing this pack right now, they are trying to, uh, like, fuel the smeltery with the blaze blood itself, and they're having to use, like, three at a time of the eggs. So, uh, because every time a chicken dies in here, it uses a bit of fuel. If I had a blaze spawner... I would do that because the blazes actually produce more blaze blood than they use. And that was like two ticks, which then uses like half a... No. It uses a certain amount of liquid from the seared fuel tank. We are actually using... Sorry, chicken. Yeah, we are using lava still because... Well, we've got infinite lava, if you think about it, because this thing up here is making us lava using the eggs. It's pretty decent. Has it stopped? Oh no, it's just not using that much lava, so... Decent. Uh, I should store all of my, my levels in there, just in case. We are going to go over to the nether area, and because of that, I might actually spruce this room up a little bit and add couple more portals we'll add one for the, the yeah we we'll had another one for the nether over there so let me do that and then we will be right back so i am not done yet i'm still going to do more but i've set something up you can probably hear it already which is uh what we mentioned the other day which is uh yeah we've got some snad a bit of uh cactus that's going into our ender chest and we've got an advanced collector at the back there. And it's just doing this. I don't really want them to like feed off each other, but they are. Unfortunately. And I kind of want want this to stop when these are full, but eh, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I quite like this. I'm using a bit of chipped. Expanding my horizons. You have no idea how close I was. To using white concrete again but I didn't I didn't I'm trying okay I'm trying this time um, I might move these into the wall and then have another maybe I do that yeah stick one there and one there I look all right I think I look a bit decent we can also turn off that sound where it gets like plopped off. So let's give that a go. Now I had to Google this one, but it is wool break. It's the sound that that makes. So that is now shut up, which is nice. Ah. Right, this is what I've come up with. So uh, this portal, we know where this portal goes. It goes over to where the mother is. Uh, we've got this portal. So I've kind of put the blocks in front of them of where they go. So this one here is to like the original dungeon that we first went to. So on the map it's this one. And it's just a starting area, I suppose. Then this one is 
Right over here. Oh my goodness. Run away. Oh. Uh, we got the end one, which takes us to the end chip. Uh, in the end area that we were in. And then, obviously, the last one we just saw, right? We go over to the mother. I quite like these portals. I don't use them often enough. Oh, you need that ring. Oh, wait. What's it called? Arch. Yeah, there we go. Arch smite. Uh, right, we need to go back. Is there anything that gives me immunity to fire? I mean, there's fire resistance, right? What else is there? So, what's this one do? Smelt. Flare. Ignite. I should stop looking at... Ars Nouveau, I've come become a little bit obsessed with Ars Nouveau recently. Um, we've got... Fire resistant. What's this one do? Alt click. Uh, yeah, we've got fire protection. That might be good. Let's do hashtag fire. Any of these? Yeah, that one's got fire protection. Fire protection. Any like high level fire protection? Fire protection three. We'll have a have a go at that. Two. Uh, there's a fire protection. Take that. Take that as well. Oh, actually, we can only put it on, like, one thing. So, my boots have got protection, but we could take protection off and put on fire protection. That might work. Where are we going? In here. I will replace those later. Or probably not. Uh, no, I'll have to replace it later. It's fine. Let's get rid of these. So... Oh, yeah, my... Uh... <laughs> Is going up in durability. That's brilliant. So we got the fire protection. Respiration. That might be good as well, actually. Let's use that on the helmet. Fire protection. And fire protection. There you go. So we got three fire protection threes. Have we got any more fire protection threes? There's a two. Oh, wow. Fire protection four. Yes, please. That's perfect, actually. Because we can turn that into... Oh, wait. Fire protection four is the highest anyway. I was... No, poop. I should have kept looking. All right. Anyway, at least we can... Where are we? So, I'm going to put respiration on my helmet. On my hood, even. So, where's that? Respiration. God, it's stacked now, isn't it? I like doing this because um, I know I'm going to get rid of all of my gear at some point. And uh, oh, I need to strip the enchantments off this to get the protection off. Darn it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of all of these at some point because of uh, mechanism armor. It's a bit of a pain, but I mean, that's all we need to do, actually. Yeah. It's fine. Let's put these bits back on. Well, that was very weird. I had to like rip all the enchantments off and then put them back on. I even had a an anvil, which instantly got chipped. What the heck? That's annoying. Uh, oh well. Well, that one is now fully kitted out with fire protection. There is some potions that I could probably brew. Fire resistance potions. Fire resistance. That's actually not a bad potion to, to brew, is it? So let, let's brew a potion of that. Or three, because you get... Oh, I've already got one. Uh, brewing... I'm going to make a brewing stand anyway, because... Always good to have. Looks weird like that. Love it. Uh, so, let's get some of these. Chuck that in there. Bottles... Oh, okay, that thing does damage to you. Brilliant. Right, awkward potions. So that means some um, of these. Nether wart. 
Right, Magma Cream turns it into a Fire Resist. Okay, I know I said I wasn't looking at Ars Nouveau, but I, I then looked at Ars Nouveau, so apologies about that. But we are going to make ourselves a Potion Flask, which you can put the recipes up here. How cool is that? You can only have one at a time, though. Uh, but we are going to make one of those. So we've got ourselves a bottle. That goes in the middle. Uh, I just made two of these. So we do one and two. Uh, we can have... What's that? That's source gem block. Gold block. And then this goes in the middle. Give it a little bit of time. And then what happens is... We get this flask, which we, it can hold like loads of potions. How cool is that? And there's the other recipe, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of these manipulation essences, which is this stuff over here. So one of those, one of those, and a button. And we just need eight of these, which go in here. Let that process, and they'll drop themselves over here. And just like that, they are done. So now we can stick all of these things. I think it's one on each of these pedestals, just like that. Chuck that in the middle. What this does is it extends... Oh, no. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. It extends the uh, the charges that you put in this flask. So if I hop back down here and I grab my three potions, which are already extended. I don't know if I can put the extended versions in. Oh, I can. Ah, oh, sweet. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So that that's three charges this thing's got. And it extends them by... Increase the duration of potion by 50%. So you halve it and then add it on. I think that's what the 50% means. So this is actually 12 minutes of fire resistance. That's pretty boss, isn't it? And we've got three of those. I don't think I'm going to have much trouble now, though, because I've got the uh, this thing, the smite, plus I've got flight, plus I've got this thing that's regening my health. Knowing me, though, I'll die like instantly. So let's just pop back into the nether. Drink this first. There we go. Oh, some horrible sounds, in it? Shooting it oh. with lots of arrows at once. Like this. What is that? Skeleton spawner. What? What are you doing here? Something shooting me oh, over there. Oh, that's the wrong one. That one. What the heck is he doing? Oh, okay. Does it like homing missile and then if it misses, just like work around it? Now, a few of these chests I've actually already looked in. Yeah, that one there. Okay, I'm gonna have to run around this place or fly around. I forgot I could fly. It's pretty decent. This one here I've definitely looked in. Aha! I'm grabbing all of this stuff. What's that? That is Skeleton Spawner again. Let's quickly get rid of all the spawners and then... Oh, you poop. My um my gem turn itself off. Let's have a look. It's still on, right? Is that how that works? Gee, there we go. 
Maybe it turns itself off after a little while or something. Yeah, four shards. I should not be attacking the zombie piglins, should I? More skeleton spawners, that's very strange. Run over in this direction. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get all of these. Oh, that was a trap chest. Oh my god, it takes ages whilst you fly. I should have landed, really. Oh well. Yeah, I'll just chuck these away. I've got to keep this on me. And I've got to be quick. Kill the elite blaze. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. chests. Oh my god, you can't see a thing. Okay, let me get my lanterns. Oh, where do I put them? Are they in my bag? Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> there we go. Ow. Uh oh, I'm falling. Why am I falling? Odd. Oh, it's because I was in the vines. I think that's how it works. Let's get rid of all of these. Once I've got enough for one. How many have I got now? Warm. Oh, I've got enough. Right, let's get back home. And that was less... Oh, wait. That was like four minutes or something. Longer. Like six minutes. It's not bad, is it? Right, time to go back and do another one of those silverfish mothers. If I can remember where to go. I, I swear I set up a, a thingy for this. Down here somewhere, I think I did a warp scroll, but I must have missed it. Or done something with it. Right, let's give this a go. One of those, one of those, one of those, and a starter. And we need our syringe. When it spawns in, I'm just going to punch it with the syringe a couple of times. Try and get enough mother blood from it. There it is. Ow, ow. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I will... First of all, get rid of these. Oh, okay. Right, let's punch it. Oh my goodness. There you go. That is full up. Now we just kill it. How much um, EMC is that using? 45. A little bit. Right, there we go. I just... Uh... That was... Easy enough fight. Oh, that poison me. Brilliant. Did we get the heart from that? We did. Nice. That's a lot of arrows right there. Oh, wow. Look at all the XP as well. I'll be taking that. Not sure I got much XP from the first one. What the heck is that? Did that drop a bananas? It did. It's pretty good. Right, with that, I think we're going to call it there. So next episode, we're going to use this syringe and we're going to figure out how to do the RF tools 
way of, you know, like spawning stuff. I don't think I've ever done it before, but this is, I believe, full up. It needs to be full. That is full. It's got to be, right? Looks full. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, we're going to use this, maybe spawn some more mothers, and then... Uh, I don't know if this thing over here works. You know, the uh, mob crusher thingy. That might work. You never know. Wait, does that have stuff in it? What the heck? I think stuff has been spawning in there, you know, because of the, the light level. And you know what? Before we go, I might as well open up a couple of loot boxes just because the dopamine... Let's do legendaries first, because they're the, the juicy ones. Oh, we actually got a cobble gen tier 5. No way. That's pretty decent. Some more vector plates. Oh, that one's pretty good. The uh, integral component. Nuclear grenade. Not for use at close range. Okay. Uh, cobble gen tier 5. Really good. Bit of snad. Always good. Uh, let's do... Epic ones. I'll just do this amount of epics. Not bad. Lots of really decent stuff. Simple magnets is in this. I might make a magnet. Because, yeah, that's, that's always useful. Have a little magnet on you. I've got loads of uh, domination ones right there. Oh. What was that? Functional flower. Ah, okay. So that's this thing. Hopper hock. Awesome. Right, I think that's where we're going to call it. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.